Hey there, welcome to the junk drawer. My name is Enzo, and today we're talking about the Disney Illy Forever. I love Ursula doll. So this doll is from Jack Specific. So if you don't know, um, this is I think the second series. Uh, is this the second series of the whole Disney Illy thing? I think it is because the first series was put up by Disney. And then the second series is put out by Jack Specific. And there are differences. I think the biggest difference is that their eyes aren't inset for these. Um, but anyway, that doesn't matter really. Uh, I, I, love, I, I love this doll because out of all the ones that came out, I was drawn to this one. Uh, I think I love the color scheme and I also love Ursula, so. It's perfect. And if you don't know, uh, these dolls are meant to be Disney bounding dolls. And Disney bounding is basically when you dress up like a character, like a Disney character that you like and you go to the parks um, because they, they don't allow you to dress up in costume because they don't want you to be confused with the actual costume people at Disney and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, uh, so this is the front of the box. And I think actually also, this is the first uh, girl doll that I have. I, I have the Disney, um, well, Disney, I have the Aladdin dolls, but this is for the first, um, is it the first? Yeah, I think it's the first. Uh, it's the first Disney Illy girl doll that I have. So I'm really excited about that as well. Uh, anyway, front of the box. And then there's a little, cute little shot of her on the side and then Ursula on the other side, and then on the back, you uh, she comes with a bunch of different outfits so you can mix and match. And then on the bottom is the cross cell of the other um, characters in the line. So yeah, I'm going to open this up and we'll take a closer look. All right, so I got her out of the box. Uh, that packaging is insane. There's so much tape and it's not an easy kind of like rip off kind of situation. You have to actually cut through like all the, they, they literally have everything taped on the back and I'm just like, okay. Anyway, not the easiest thing to get into, but let's get into the accessories first. Before we get into the actual doll, I do want to mention that this was a gift. So thank you so much, Tammy. I, I really am so happy that I have her, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. And if you wanted to send me something, I do have an Amazon wish list and a P.O. box. So the first thing uh, we'll take a look at is this purse. It definitely has an interesting design. Uh, it's got this like center kind of uh, handle here. And at first I thought it was rope, but it's actually just uh, plastic, but it's very convincing as rope. So it fooled me. Um, and then the, the purse here is uh, cute. Uh, I love the little, um, what do you call it? The uh, quilting pattern. And I think, I'm not sure what this design is on here. Um, I don't know if I'm just being so uh, completely dense uh, or, or what, but I'm not sure what this is. So if you know what that is, uh, let me know in the comments. Next, we have this Trident necklace. So this necklace is uh, made of a very, very flimsy kind of plastic, uh, probably the softest plastic I've ever felt, but, uh, and it has a little trident on the end there. It's all one color. Uh, it's cute, you know, it does the job. Next we have the shoes. So these shoes are uh, molded in a purple color and they're kind of strappy. Uh, I like that the bottoms have this detailing on it. I always love when shoes have detailing on the bottom. I think that's really cool. And then on the back, there's a little bow. So just a cute, simple, strappy shoe. Then we have this purple top. And this purple top is uh, made of this, there's like a tool material on the, uh, for her sleeves. And then her actual main piece is a kind of like a stretchy fabric. And it looks like there are crowns. It looks like a crown pattern on the shirt. And then the straps are these teal pearls, I'm assuming. And then it does Velcro in the back. And the last clothing piece are these funky pants. So yeah, these pants are really fun. They are swirly. Uh, they're kind of like a black, 
they're not like a solid black. It's a, it's almost like a purpley gray color. I don't know. I think if I, yeah, it's hard to describe. There is like a very faint purple color in there. And then the pattern is like the swirly kind of pattern. And it does Velcro in the back, but the, the bottoms are like huge, huge bell bottoms, which are super fun and cute. And then the last accessory is something for you to wear. It is a Mickey ring. So this Mickey ring is meant to replace the edible uh, Disney treats that come in the Disney versions of these dolls. So it's covered in this purple iridescent sparkly glitter. It is glitter that comes off. So there's that. And then the actual band is this flexible plastic. So I could probably wear it on my pinky. And here is the doll. So this is her front and her back. Yeah, first impressions, uh, she's great. I love her. I think that's why I was drawn to her. I, like I said before, out of all of the, the girl Disney dolls, uh, it's for some reason I was really drawn to her. I love Ursula. I love the purple colors. I love her, her skin tone. I love the high pony. I think, and, and the fur coat, I'm a sucker for a fur coat. So I think, and the high boots, I mean, she just looks, she just looks kind of badass to me. So I think that's why I was kind of gravitated towards her, but let's take a closer look. So if we start at the top, her hair, um, it does feel nice. So I don't think it's, it feels Saran. I'm, I'm gonna assume it's Saran cause it does feel kind of soft, but I could be wrong cause I don't know, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it Saran, but it is, it is nice. And it is in this, in this pony. Uh, it's all kind of like a side pony. I don't know if you can tell, but, and then her face is super cute, very minimal makeup. And she has these cute little drop, earrings uh it looks like a little like gem and then uh her coat her coat <laughs> i love this thing so much uh it is super soft it is a it's kind of like a very 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 light purple color it's actually not white it might look white but it's not um and then it's got this ursula little uh pendant here which is super cute and then it does come off. Okay, uh, <laughs> so I was taking her coat off and she has this clutch that she's wearing and I thought it was plastic, like a plastic tie or whatever, holding the clutch to her hand. So I just kind of pulled it and I think I was pulling on the actual bag, but I don't see like a rip or anything. So I'm not sure uh if i broke it or not but i will i will fuss with that later anyway uh here's her clutch <laughs> while while we're talking about it here's her clutch it's super super cute i love the zipper detail it's not a real zipper everything is just a solid piece of plastic but i do love the, that it's painted and then there is a i'm assuming this is like a like a crescent or something or a trident or something going on here i'm not sure what that is uh, but yeah, and then the top has a zipper also that's not, not painted. It's just a solid black and then the logo in the back, but a super cute, super cute clutch. So I found the third piece of the clutch here, uh, this little connector piece. So I should be able just to reconnect it. So, uh, crisis averted. All right. So here she is without the fur coat and honestly, I prefer the fur coat on her. I think this, uh, I'm not honestly crazy about this top. It's a weird, it's such a weird top to me. Uh, it's sleeveless. It's got this like keyhole cutout at the top. Uh, I'm not crazy about it if I'm going to be honest. So there's that. And it is, it is a separate piece though. So it does Velcro in the back. And then she's wearing this iridescent pleated, skirt like over skirt on 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 top here and there is something underneath and i'll take it off in a second but um this is like a super super stiff material it doesn't feel super great so it's not gonna it's not gonna flow or anything or like move with her it's super stiff but you know it's it's about how it looks uh let me take this off huh uh it is 
uh, One Piece. <laughs> so, because I, I, earlier I was like, oh, look, there's she's wearing something else. So she is wearing like a simple black skirt, I guess, underneath, but it's really meant to be a liner because she's wearing underwear. So I think it's just meant to, meant to be so you don't just see her underwear underneath. Uh, I thought it was a second piece, but it is not. I'm kind of bummed about that honestly, but it's okay. Um, she still looks cute. And then her shoes. So she's wearing these giant black boots, which are super cute and super cool. And these boots have some detail at the bottom. There are tentacles uh, up on the side here and then at the bottom. So keeping on theme. And they're just like a little, simple little uh, heeled boot. And our articulation is uh, her head can move round and round. She's got shoulder, elbow, and then wrist. Uh, nothing at the waist, hip, and then knee. I'm gonna get her into her second outfit and show you what that looks like. All right, here she is in her second outfit. This is her front and her back. Um, I, I think I like the first one better. I'm not super crazy about the way this looks. Um, it looks fine. She's cute. It's a cute outfit. I think I was going to like the pants better, or I thought I was going to like the pants better, but I don't know. There's something about this right here that bothers me. I don't know. It's like the, the, the weird... Yeah, I don't know. The, the fact that you can see like the inside that's like un, uncovered or whatever, or like unprinted, it, um, yeah, it just looks unfinished or something. I don't like the way that looks. It looks funny. The top is super cute. Like this is adorable. And her little purse matches her little straps here. Super cute. Uh, this necklace, you will probably lose the necklace, <laughs> just so you know. It is super... It's super lightweight and it and it falls off super easily. Um, I know why they did the why they made it the way they did, so it would go on easy, but it also comes off very easily and it's like super easy to lose. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this is her in her second outfit. I also uh, failed to mention that she does have articulation in her feet. Uh, I wasn't expecting that, so that's why I did not mention that earlier. But yeah, she can, she can. Uh, do this. So final thoughts on this Disney uh, Illy Forever. I love Ursula doll. She reminds me of Jasmine. And I think that's partially why I also loved her because I love the way Jasmine looks and she'll go great with my uh, boy doll. So, because he's supposed to look like uh, Aladdin. So. so as far as the Ursula theming goes, uh, I don't think I don't know, I'm kind of like 50-50 on this. I think it does obviously have hints of Ursula. Like obviously there's Ursula's head on her fur coat, so duh. Uh, and then like the tentacles on her boots. Uh, but other than that, and like the, maybe the purple, but I don't know if purple is necessarily uh, Ursula. I think there are other Disney villains that also rock purple a lot, so. Uh, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give this a 50/50 on the representation part. Uh, although I do love the way she looks, she looks amazing. Uh, I don't know that she 100% knocks out of the park with the Ursula theming, I, and I don't know what you would be able to do to change that. But regardless, she's a great doll, so I would I would recommend picking her up because uh, she's amazing. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of this Disney Illy Forever I Love Ursula doll. And uh, thank you for watching as always. I truly, 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 truly appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. Uh, I hope you have a lovely whenever you're watching this and I will catch you next time.